Hello and welcome to another DMM Games TCG unboxing, this time with Orphan's Order. And yeah, I hope you have seen my previous DMM game box. It was pretty loot. This box shouldn't be this loot, but still has some nice artworks, especially for me, for my personal collection. I do collect uh, TCGs or like art cards with artworks. Uh, which are inspired by ancient Egypt from all of different TCGs, like not only anime, but only Magic the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Is, is anime too, but yeah, from all types of TCGs. And there should be at least one artwork uh, from a... I don't know if it's like Cleopatra. I do have to check if I hopefully can pull the card, but yeah, we have one box topper. The very cool looking foiling is not shatter foiling. I do like it, and I do like the the figure. It's like a Kitsune cat version a little bit. But yeah, I I don't know when I have really um, when I have published the last DMM game box. I I probably have a playlist on YouTube. So in case you haven't seen the previous. Uh, DMM game unboxing, you should watch it since I, I did pull a secret rare. I have to spoiler it. But yeah, it's an awesome card. And we start with the super rare of the, the box topper character. And yeah, I guess from my experience with uh, these TCG boxes, it's from a JRPG, some kind of. But that's like all I know about it. I I saw how the, the cards look on, on YouTube. There, there are some other unboxings and I decided I do like it. Oh, she gives me like some Kafka vibes from Honkai Star Rail. Just a little bit. Yeah, it looks cool. I like it. But yeah, if I have to... Okay, if I have to criticize something, I think uh, the characters look great. It's just that the background is just this wallpaper in a church i guess or some kind of in front of it no it's inside yeah not a big fan of this stereotypical background this looks cool oh i i do like the the character designs in this set not even loot it just looks really cool with her uh two swords like she has one katana in her hand and another one on her back this looks super cool. But yeah, I did only order one box of this set uh, since it's not that loot and I decided, ah, yeah, I, I shouldn't spend too much on it. But if I cannot get the Egyptian card I want from this set, from this one box, I really get into trouble because it's not that easy to buy single cards uh, since like the... The DMM Games TCG is not existing anymore, like it's a dead TCG by now. And many shops don't have uh, single cards for sale anymore. I think there was like a, a shop clearance in many stores and they decided to get rid of their inventory. And yeah, now we, we, we struggle a little bit with getting single cards. There are probably like still stores in Japan, but I, I don't know them. <laughs> or it's just not really, uh, I'm not really able to order from them from uh, Germany where I am. So yeah, maybe if I, I cannot pull the single card, I have to think twice or a third time maybe with my three brain cells. If I want to get another box, since the artwork looks very cool and I really want the card for my Egypt collection. Oh, and I really wanted this one. It's not a rare, as it's not really a, a very rare card. It's just a regular rare. It's like the the lowest rarity of the holo cards. But look at the artwork, the cheap, the fluffiness. Uh, so cute. This artwork is sugar. It's like, yeah, it's giving me diabetes. So cute with a thick, uh, thick sheep, <laughs> and it's just a rare. I I actually don't know on uh, which rarity the e Egyptian card has, 
I guess it's the VR. Now this is it not. Yeah, this is not the Egyptian character. It has no Egyptian themed uh, jewelry or symbols. Looks cool. I do like it. Tan skin looks fine. I do like the foil pattern. And she has like a leopard tail in some kind of. Looks like a leopard tail. Okay, maybe there's even like more than one card. I I did found a card gallery, but I I don't remember if I have uh, saved the place where I found it, or maybe the as I said the shop has closed down. There was a I I have to search again. Maybe I have saved the page somewhere to to check if there are more than this one. Ah, this is no. This doesn't look Egyptian themed. Not really. Okay, we get some more revealing characters. That's fine. Yes. Okay. Uh, is she Cleopatra is the question. No. This is just Ra. So Ra is like the, the sun god, god. One of the highest gods in ancient Egypt. I think this is just Ra. There should be another set with... Uh, Cleopatra, I guess, but yeah, just the rare. I, I think the artwork looks amazing. It will look so fine in my Egypt collection. I just see that uh, in ancient Egypt, there are like these sun disks because they worship the sun and yeah, usually on the head. But yes, this kind of looks like the, the red sun disk, but from far away like this, it looks like Pokeballs. Let me know in the comments, is it just me or does these look like Pokeballs? Because the top is red and the bottom is uh, white looking. Yeah, very great pool where my sleeves. Just a rare, but for me it's the the most wanted card from this set. So now I, I still want to check the card gallery if I'm not... Okay, what's going on there? What kind of sorcery demon... Animal thingies, okay. But yeah, I do hope that this was the only card I... <laughs> it's giving me a second one, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, I just saw that in the background we even have like some hieroglyphs. Looks like a pillar. Yeah. Just to be, just to be safe, the box was like, oh, you want this card? You really want it, so yeah. Get a second one, just to be sure. Maybe one is uh, off-center or one is damaged. So there will be at least one. Okay, another duplicate. Uh, there will be a second one for your collection. But yeah, sometimes I think, depending on the... Maybe it's just luck or unluck. But in the previous box, I just remember getting one duplicate. Now we are already at two. I I don't know if this means that the set is smaller or yeah. Maybe the set size is different. It's just really pretty. Now this is a VR rarity, but to be honest, like I never really saw a difference. Like there is no outline for the character, nothing like gold or hot stamped or textured. There is no don't even think there is a difference in the foiling pattern, no. So I, I actually don't really know what the, the rarities mean. Huh. I do have to check this artwork closely, but I don't think there are like any Egyptian symbols in her jewelry. Sometimes there is like a small Ankh symbol or the, the eye of Horus. Another VR. So now checking for duplicates. But I'm really sad that this game or this TCG has died. I I think it looks amazing. Of course, I can nothing. I can say nothing about how to play the game or if it ever was fun or sing or anything. This is this is not real. As I said, I just recorded like. I just recorded the other DMM game box, and I did pull a numbered card. Again, I pull a numbered secret rare. This is absolutely... I'm so happy that I record my unboxings. Like, 
no one would believe me sometimes with my my luck or what happened what usually usually happens with like v cross is that i i say i want to pull a certain card and while opening the pack or in the next pack there is the card and i'm like absolutely crazy i don't know what i have done to deserve this like heart of the cards i don't know but this is bonkers huh this could count looking at the jewelry uh on top of her head and there is an eye symbol now uh, this could have like some oh there yeah as i said there is a Maybe I will edit it, but I will probably not edit it since I'm a lazy piece of degenerate. But there is an Ankh symbol in her head jewelry. So this is another card from my collection. Sweet. But yeah, I, I don't know the pull ratio for the secret rares since there are only like, there are only 63 uh, of these cards in the world. Like that's that's just crazy. That's that's so awesome. But of course, not many people know this TCG, so maybe there are just uh, sixty-three buyers in the world even like interested in this, or not? Maybe not. E not even sixty-three. Oh yeah, awesome. Ah, that's that's so cool. Yeah, overall, the character designs look really fine. The the colors, the printing, quality wise, it's it's good. And uh, just the background that's not really giving me anything. Like getting the same background over and over again, and sometimes like pulling the same foil cards. Because I do not think that this is a crazy small set. I I guess when I look at the card gallery, there will be still a lot of oil or rare cards that I'm missing, so yeah, and we get another duplicate, so this is something that I didn't or don't like so much about uh, these TCG boxes, but overall no, no complaints with my double secret rare hits. Another rare card and last regular booster pack. And yeah, I do have some more boxes from DMM games, a few more, or from other like niche, niche English TCG. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe if you don't want to miss them, uh, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the, the videos. And yeah, thank you for watching. Let's end with a Force of Will pack, as always. Looking for my secret rare Anubis that I will probably never pull, or maybe now. No, not, not now. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.